Hey everybody and welcome back to Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget where I, Chris, try to help you scuba dive and enjoy a little bit of financial stability at the same time. Uh, I, just, I review tech gear, I review so, uh, software, I review uh, underwater videos, underwater video editing software and operators and I throw a dive video up every once in a while so we can enjoy diving. With that being said, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like and subscribe button. Now, with all that out of the way, today is going to be dive schedule. Today, I am going to set out a dive schedule for the year where if you can afford it, you can meet me at these spots and we will go diving, okay? All of us, because that's what I'm going to be doing and I want you to come with us. And then please tell the people what you think. Um, okay, dive number one. Dive number one and dive number three are very easy, but dive number one. Dive spot number one is going to be Destin, Florida. Emerald Coast Scuba, of course. Uh, May 24th through the 27th. Yes, I know. That's Memorial Day weekend, but that's the one weekend that Tammy and I have working together. So, May 24th through the 27th. Uh, probably going to be diving on the 25th and 26th, 24th and 27th, maybe staying open. Just depends. Depends on money. Um, so what you want to do, I want you to call Mark or Ann or Ray, whoever answers the phone down at Emerald Coast Scuba. Tell them that you're going to go scuba diving with me. And I'm not guaranteeing special rates i can't guarantee that i don't work for them i don't own the shop so i can't say what but they'll sit down and tell you the rates they're probably going to want your credit card up front but you will not have to pay for anything until you get there they don't like to charge you because you know weather changes if we don't go out that day then we don't get charged for it so that's dive number one all right dive spot number two dive spot number two is going to be amy slate's dive resort Kind of chose this one because, one, ease. It says dive resort. We've never been to one of those. And they remind me a lot of Mom and Pop, which I actually like. I know that Mom and Pops are kind of frowned upon. But I think Amy Slate's is a little different because they do sustainable diving. You just got to be there. They work with the Reef Foundation. They work with uh, the Rebuilding the Coral Foundation, the Rebuilding Coral people. Um, I kind of like everything that they're selling so far. Now, another reason why I picked it is I'm going to do an uh, interview. I'm going to interview some of the people, and I'm going to make a video afterwards and give you guys an update about what the place is like. The second reason, I don't have to pay for anything up front. I did have to put a credit card down, of course. But I don't like having to pay a bunch of stuff up front. And then you get there and you're going, this is not what I signed up for. I, I like the fact of being able to reserve your spot. You put your credit card down. You're done with it. You know how much the bill is going to be. And we're done. It's the hotel and everything in one fell swoop. All right, so the dates on that one is July 18th through the 25th. Now, that being said... We're going to be diving the 18th and then check in because we're going to do a checkout dive to make sure, you know, they want to make sure we're not a bunch of idiots. And because on Friday, we're doing our deep dive. They only do deep dives on Friday um, unless a bunch of people want to do it, which I hope that'd be nice. Come on, you guys, come on. Because uh, I like diving the Dwayne. I drove the Vandenberg, I mean, not the Vandenberg, the Spiegel. I've drove the Spiegel three times now, so I haven't really seen all of the ship, but hey. It is what it is. Uh, number two is um, during that time, we're going to be going down to the down to Key West, and I think we're going to use Dive Key West because they only make you put a little bit up front. Because um, I want to dive the Vandenberg. The Vandenberg is like my one of my dream dives. The the Vandenberg, the Ariscany, uh, the U boat out off the Carolina coast. Um, there's just, uh, there's like four or five dream dives that we've always wanted to do. The reef at Roatan. <laughs> uh, now, that being said, that's, that's, that's dive number, that's dive number two. I can digress into that all day long. Dive number three. 
Dive number three is going to be the first weekend of October because I can't think of what the dates are. I think the 4th through the 7th through the 3rd through the 6th. The first weekend of October, it's Seafood Festival in Destin. We go to it every year. Um, and, and we're Destin, like I said, Emerald Coast Scuba. Again, call Mark, put your name down. So it's easy. It's as easy as that. You know, we normally stay at either the Harbor Inn or Motel 6. Um, that time, at that time, we're going to try to stay at the Harbor Inn. They're right across the street. Everything's within walking, literally everything's within walking distance. Uh, now the ultimate dive, okay, ultimate dive. If you noticed, I didn't put Bahamas in there. The Bahama trip financially is just not able to do it on the dates that we're wanting to do. Uh, it's it just, it just not possible. That being said, we have decided on a trip due to suggestions from you, the YouTube viewer, and a couple of friends of mine too. But you, the, you guys, the YouTube viewers, have actually been the ones to say where we should go. And the overwhelming, overwhelming place is Cozumel. I don't know why. Everybody says Cozumel. So that's what we're going to do. Problem is, is I don't know exactly when. So I'm going to leave these dates up to you. Can be before Christmas. Kind of difficult though because we just did our dive in October. New Year's. I really kind of like the idea of doing something different for the week of New Year's. Because supposedly whatever you're doing on New Year's is what you're doing for the rest of the year. And hey, who wouldn't want to be diving the rest of the year? So New Year's. Or January 15th. I know that's January 15th, 2020, but January 15th. Now, I've also got two different suggestions. Somebody sent me a comment saying where we should go, and it's in the little mom and pop shop, which I like, or an all-inclusive dive hotel. Both of them sound good. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you the viewer the, the 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 fellow youtuber dates and location bring them in men this is on a budget so yeah we got you know with flights and everything that does not include flights i i understand nobody has control over the airlines nobody um they can charge whatever they want at any given time i also understand it's being january the flights are probably going to be more expensive than in july is what it is. I hate that saying, but I use it all the dang time. So that being said, we have our dates. Number one, Emerald Coast, May 24th through 27th. Number two, um, Amy Slate's Amore Dive Resort, July 18th to the 25th. Number three, Emerald Coast, Destin, Florida, uh, first weekend of October. Uh, number four is up to you, but it's going to be Cozumel, and it's going to be towards the end of December and beginning of January. Hey guys, I appreciate everything going on. Again, if you like what I'm doing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit notifications, send me a comment. We'll work on this. Anyway, as you can tell, we moved. Uh, you like the setup? I, I'm, I'm moving things around. This thing is in my way. I don't know what to do with it. I, I, I don't know how to fix this. Uh, hope you have a good day. Just keep scuba diving, guys. Just keep scuba diving, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate all 25 subscribers. Scuba diving on a budget. Out of here.